good morning. I'm making some coffee and um, I feel a bit tired, but I slept quite well. But yeah, I think body wise, looking all right. We are freaking ready. All right, so on the way to the gym now. Wow, it's freezing in here. All right, all right, in the car. So what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try to put the camera here. I've got the camera on here. And it's just basically in my sight because I wanna do like a time frame, frame, frame thing. Who cares, I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. Let's switch on the car. Heating, heating. Yeah, we built this freaking city. All right, so heading to the gym and I'm gonna do shoulders, incline press, legs. I know, I'm gonna do like a, normally it's a push day, so I should be doing pushing. But yesterday the gym was revamping something and I couldn't do leg press, so I couldn't do a full leg workout as you've probably seen in my video. So therefore I'm gonna do some leg exercise today as well. It's not a big deal, but yeah, sometimes you have to take it as it comes, right? So. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's switch the music off. So I got myself a monster. And this one is the orange one because I didn't have the white one. I prefer the white one. And this one is cold finally. So I don't know, I think I had a bit of caffeine overdoses. So I had two, <laughs> had two big coffees at home and now I'm drinking this. But I don't know, I just feel like it and I did a DNA test, I told you guys about that before with DNA Fit, a company in the UK where you can sort of test your genetic profile and stuff. And I'm a um, caffeine fast metabolizer, so we've got a slow and fast metabolizer of caffeine, meaning I think it's something like if you're a slow uh, metabolizer of caffeine and let's say you drink coffee at 2 or 3 p.m. in the afternoon, you will still not be able to go to, th go to sleep because you're your body takes six to eight hours to metabolize it, whereas the fast metabolizers have two to three hours of metabolizing caffeine in your body, which is pretty awesome. So I can really cope well with caffeine. And then also the other thing, as you know, caffeine is the more you, you actually consume caffeine, the less of an effect it has. So, I mean, these all play together, but at the end of the day, it's all right. It's not like I'm drinking it every day. As you know, I tell you about this and also some say, well, you know, it has sweetener inside like aspartame and all that stuff which isn't good because it's a neurotoxin and stuff. I'm just wondering, that car over there looks like the one I'm sitting in. I'm like, is this the right car? Yes, it is. <laughs> Otherwise, the key wouldn't work, would it? Anyway, mm, what should I say? It's time to train now. Today, <laughs> today in the morning, the funny thing is when you vlog in the morning and you hold the camera in your face and you see the actual picture, you sometimes like, is this me? Like full puffy? For example, today I'm quite puffy because I had something naughty at night. <laughs> I had some marzipan and a bread roll, which I just couldn't freaking resist eating. And that's why I'm a bit puffy today. Like, you know, like aufgedunsen, you would say in Germany. Anyway, who cares? It's time to train now. Hey guys, that was a quick workout. Um, I need to go home now. I'm 
because I have to uh, actually send out some emails I just saw. So I've done some incline benching today, then a bit of biceps, like two sets, not really a lot. Uh, then I did squatting. I felt a bit of twitch in my back. Um, and this is something I want to tell you guys. If you feel something which isn't right, then don't push through. So I was doing, I want to do five sets of five. It was my second set, plus a warm-up set, 120 kilos, so quite heavy for me at least. And so on the fourth rep, I felt a bit of a twitch in my back and I was like, that doesn't feel right. It's also because I did yesterday, I did heavy Romanian deadlifts and normally I wouldn't have done any legs today. Uh, I think my back was just weak. It wasn't that clever of an idea to do squatting today. So that's why you have, or when you follow my actual program, I, <laughs> I don't recommend doing this. So I myself learning still sometimes. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is stick to the program. Don't jumble things up. Even if you do feel like you want to do something like that, also not a big deal like I did today, but then you have to know when to stop. And that's why I'm telling you guys, I felt not like doing legs today because you know yesterday I exhausted myself quite heavily. The only thing I missed was squatting, so I thought I'd put it in today. But yeah, my back hasn't recovered fully. Therefore, I, long story short, if you feel something isn't working, stop doing it. That's the lesson here. But I did a lot of volume for my, for my chest and for, for overhead, for incline benching. So that's all fine. Tomorrow, we'll see how it goes. I might have a rest day and then on Saturday, I'll hit the gym again, but we'll see. So now it's time to head home, get the stuff, grab my key, phone, towel, and somehow I need to grab the, this thing as well. So you switch off camera now. Right, now it's time to cook something. Uh, I'm watching some, some YouTube stuff. These are actually pans from IKEA. Oh shit. Flip out cam. Right, so what am I having? So I just came out of the gym and now I'm gonna have six eggs. You know my six egg omelette. Um, I will have, oh, <laughs> I just seen something happen here. Look, this is marzipan, like the German one. And yesterday what happened, I had half of it. Somehow, I just needed to eat it. Which is a shit thing to do. So that's why I'm gonna be strong now. <laughs> six eggy weggies. And what else am I having? I want to have avocado, but we ran out of avocado. So, I don't freaking know. Oh, yeah, we have some chicken left. Let's see, we should have some chicken here somewhere. Chicken in the house. Look at this. All nicely organized, as it is in Germany, right? So, what do we have? Buttermilk could be nice, but I don't want any milk. Look, I forgot the freaking monster. So I need to go to the petrol station and buy one just earlier. So this is already cooked. Pute, trutan, turkey. Yeah, turkey. So I'm gonna eat this actually, it's already cooked. Really easy, really simple. Have that, that's probably like 75 grams, round right about. Let's see what else we can find. All right, so let's have some coffee. Um, I'm always using my little Starbucks coffee, uh, coffee cup, I was about to say. Yeah, so black coffee, need to whisk my eggs still, and some turkey, and I'll see you guys on the in the private cinema. By the way, I also always like to sort of give you like little tips of where you can find good information. And one guy I love watching is, I don't know if you can see this, Dr. Burke. He is, um, I might link this into the description, I'm not sure. If you just type in Dr. Burke, Dr. Back into um, YouTube, you will find masses of videos of this guy. He's an actual doctor and physician and he, is also very very holistic knowledgeable so i get a lot of information also from him just backing stuff up which i say sometimes because i'm not a doctor but i have some knowledge of doctors but the nice thing is that he really breaks it down very very easy and nicely for you to understand so it's always hard to find people you trust online this is the guy i trust if you trust me you're definitely gonna trust that guy once you've seen a couple of his videos you'll see you'll understand why i'm watching him and it's just one little tip on the side. I, I, like I said, I'd like to give you little bite-sized information and little things you can follow for yourself if you're interested in gaining more knowledge around health, fitness, and nutrition. So it's like a little tip on the side. I'll show you something what I do sometimes when I'm in the house. Can you see this? 
This is my phone. And it's actually playing some motivational stuff. So I just put it into my pocket. And I walk through the house and I'm able to listen to it wherever I am. So this is what I do. It's just your mindset. You have to really put your mind to things that they work. And the only way that works is that you listen to stuff you, which motivates you personally. It doesn't have to be this stuff. It's for me, it's what works. And that's why I do it. There you go. All right, guys. So I'm just back home. I just want to show you my little setup here. This is how I use you roll here. <laughs> used to roll, I was about to say. I'm rolling, so I've got my iPhone 7 Plus, Gary Vaynerchuk in the house. He just uploaded a new video, a talk, which I'm gonna be watching for like one hour and 40 minutes. My big cam, my computer, you know, obviously my iPad. This is like a daylight lamp. Um, what it does, it imitates daylight. And it's nice because you always have to, my mom explained it to me, like you have to always have another light on with that lamp. But it's sort of, you can see a difference, right? This is like really white light. It's sort of, and it's on the lowest level. So if I bump this up a little bit, you can see now it's like full blast. Um, it gives like an, a nice little daylight sort of touch, especially to sort of make your body um, excrete some vitamin D3 and stuff. Obviously getting out in the sunlight is better, but as we Western European, uh, Germany and UK not blessed, people <laughs> it's quite difficult right so i just want to give you a bit of a setup tour i'm working on the 10-week um, program at the moment uh, working on the actual workout side of things the diet book is nearly finished which is great uh, i'm sort of on track and in the new year i'm going to give it folgas and you know this is the funny thing you're in a different country again and you're starting to speak that language a bit more and all of a sudden i start thinking german again and english and german and my head is fully messed up now yeah anyway i mean you guys are really excited about it which is great you're asking me all these questions and so on and i can what i can say the diet book will help you guys so much i hope i will get to the point that i can release some um, recipes as well but more importantly, it gives you sort of a full structure of everything you need to know in terms of dieting. So there's the first chapter is going to be nutrition basics. The second chapter is uh, what food does in your body. So, you know, like all the bodily functions and stuff, at, at least to a sort of not too in-depth science level. So you don't understand anything. I try to write it in a way so you get the glimpse of it. And then the third part of it is the actual chef. The um, what well, I call it chef because it's the complete healthy eating formula. That's what I call it. <laughs> Short chef. It will have intermittent fasting, advanced dieting protocols, if it fits your macros, and some rules I follow and my clients follow to get the best results possible. And then at the end, I will talk about reverse dieting and foods to avoid, stuff like that. Plus. I will add in a supplement guide because you guys are always asking, Mark, which supplement should I be taking? So I thought, you know what? Let's bring out a little guide for you guys with the 10 most common supplements out there. At the moment, I've got protein, BCAAs, multivitamins, fish oil, flaxseed oil, creatine, ZMA, D3, Yohim beam, and yeah, if you've just heard what I said, if there's a couple of supplements you want me to implement into that supplement guide, please let me know because uh, I still have room to explain some of them and I will be talking about, you know, what is the supplement? What does it do in your body? How much should you be taking and when should you be taking it? And what kind of restrictions are there? What age group and so on and so forth, if you're a woman or not. And there are always things linked to some sort of things, especially with vitamins, for example, some get toxic at a certain point, for example, vitamin E. Um, so you shouldn't overdose and all these things. So you should be aware of that. But generally speaking, it's a guide. It doesn't prescribe anything so it just gives you an overview of what kind of supplements are out there so you then have like a little tool and reference you can go back to and say what 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 is this what does it do and it is based on you know examine.com i talked about that before it's a website where you can go and there's so much freaking research on that which i will implement and pull out into this guide as well because it's not just me saying oh yeah you know rule of thumb is Take some BCAs, like five grams each day. And when you do fasting, fasted workout, maybe even, maybe not. I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah, it's not like that. It's not. <laughs> I'm going to give you specific science-backed structure of every single um, supplement out there and with references so you can say, Mark, 
Where did you get that information from? So you can click on that link and you can read it up yourself because I think that's one of the most important things here on the internet. It's not only that you might trust me and, I, and that's fine, I, I appreciate that. But what I wanna teach you on this channel is that it's also about you asking questions. Like in German, we would say hinterfragen, which means something like question myself. So if I tell you something and you're like, hmm, I don't know, is that true? And why not Google it? Why not do a bit of research yourself for whatever I say here, for example, right? It's not like that I'm scared or anything. This is more a lesson for you because in life what happens, we take everything as face value. For example, there was a study done with kids who started Googling stuff, like whatever it was, there was some, some really funny question asked and then the kids should go away and find out the answer. So they went on to Google and the first search result they found was what they took as the answer to the question. And now the, the funny thing is, they took blog posts, they took, um, you know, like a forum post where someone just wrote a post on the forum, which is totally unqualified as reference. And it wasn't actually true to the question asked. And that is the funny thing because the kids, I mean, I think they were like from six years to 14 years old or something, that was a study. And they took the answers they Google as the answer. That is what is true. And that is dangerous, guys, because there's so many things which are not true on the internet, especially when it comes to fitness and nutrition. What we tend to do a lot of times and what we see people do is this thing called self-diagnose. I have that with my clients all the time. So what I ask my client when they come in, one of the very first questions I ask them is when, let's say, let's take an example, a client comes to me and says, I've got adrenal fatigue. And I say to the client, okay, great. How do you know you've got adrenal fatigue? Yeah, because I've got this and this and this and this. And I say, okay. Um, and now the, the qualified question from a practitioner like myself would be, uh, has this been diagnosed by a physician or a doctor or your GP? And they say, no. I read up on the internet in a forum somewhere and on a YouTube video, someone told me like, these are the symptoms and that's why I've got adrenal fatigue. This is wrong. This is not right. And I would not be allowed to treat that person or to actually work with that person. If it is, I mean, adrenal fatigue is not a massive, so I mean, it is a big issue, but it wouldn't prevent me from working with them. But there are other things which I wouldn't be qualified to do if they're not diagnosed by a doctor. But anyway, if anything, even adrenal fatigue should be diagnosed by a doctor and treated by a doctor, not by myself. So what I'm trying to say is that when you guys think you have something, please, please, please make sure you go to the qualified person who's able to give you the right guidance. I'm able to give you a lot of advice on workout and nutrition and you know sleep, stuff like that. But more importantly, things I'm qualified in doing. So, and now this thing, what I want to teach you is to figure out where do you get the right information from? And that's why all my programs and stuff you download, you will always find at the back a massive, big part of references where I get my information from. And it is from, from sites from, for example, examine.com, I said, is a very good website because that website actually states the research and where they got their research from. And then you can go to more in-depth sort of research for example, sport discos and stuff like that, which are databases for sports scientists to actually go to and extract the, the latest studies. And you can go to something like, let me see. What I wanna show you is with my 12 week athlete, I just thought it's better to show you this. So this is the 12 week athlete program here you can see. And at the end, like I said, references, and it looks a bit like this. So you'll find actual proper referencing of all my material. And you can see it goes on and on and on. It's like. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages, just referencing documents where I got them from. A really good point of, or a point of research is always the government has also guidelines where you can go to. And this is something as practitioners, when you do courses and, and if you're not a, a university a graduate and have a diploma in something like a doctor or a sports scientist or stuff like that, if you do courses like personal training courses and lower education, let's say, then what they do is they tell you your point of your scope of practice, that's what it's called, is you're allowed to say certain things. And if it goes to an extension, for example, a personal trainer who just does a personal training degree is not allowed to prescribe a diet. He can tell you this is these are the foods you should be eating, but he can't tell you you're allowed to eat this kind of food that much grams, um, and say you should be taking these amounts of vitamins and stuff like that. That would be a dietitian who does that. Now, 
but for the point of reference, what he could what he could say is he could send you to the actual, let's say, um, the FDA or let's say the Diabetic Association. Um, they all have proper websites. Org, for example, or the you know in Germany you've got the Bundes, yeah, Bundesrepublik or the Bundeswebseiten. These are the ones you should be pushing people towards because these websites are giving the information which are based on research and based on what works for most people. And obviously, then you can go to, to medical websites. Mayo Clinic is a good one, for example, uh, and so on and so forth. So you will find a lot of things and references where you can pull your, your information from. And then you've got something called journals. So for example, if a book is written, let's say in sports science, you've got uh, a book is written about how to train, like training protocols. Once that book is published by the professor or whoever wrote it, then what happens, let's say that book is now 10 years old and all of a sudden new stuff comes out, new training protocols. And these are updated in sports science journals because these journals are published on a monthly basis and they have sometimes anything between 10 to 25 sort of studies which have been just done in that short of period of time. So when they just have been published, therefore, journal is the next reference point after a book. So you look at a book and you read about it, but it might be outdated. So the next point to go is to a journal. And that's where you find most of your information. And this is, you will find so many different journals from psychiatric journals to medical journals, to sports journals, to basically every sort of science you can think of will have journals. And these are accessible in the internet. And they are always based on science, on experiments and so on and so forth. Now, the problem with that is that they're not accessible for the public for free because most of them, obviously, because it's research based and very, very specific and niche, some of them you have to pay for, some of them you will get online and some of them you might get just the summary. So the first two pages, which sums up sort of the study of what has been conducted. And that is what you will find as most of the time when you know what the study is called, you can type it into Google and it will find that website where you can basically purchase just that one study if you want to read it, or you can purchase sort of a, a membership for let's say the sports science uh, journal or something like that. Yeah, I could go on and on and on about it. All I'm trying to say in a nutshell is make sure staying educated and make sure asking questions that is so freaking important because don't take everything for face value. People just tell you or you see online. That is sort of the point I'm trying to make. With me, you can always be sure that everything I say and do is backed by science and is backed by my studies because first of all, I'm German. That's something you have to know. German quality is behind every, every single thing I do. I think it's one of the most important values to myself is being honest, being professional, and safety for my clients and for other people is one of my biggest things ever since I started working with people because they are just as much a human being as I am. And I would never ever tell you to take things which would damage you as a person. And I hope you believe me because I don't do that with myself. And the, the best way of saying that is, you know, a lot of people when they watch the thousand raptures say, Mark, you're not natural. You're taking cigarettes and all that shit. Well, I'm clearly not on any drugs. And I've also done the DEXA scan, which you can see. And it states even on that scan that I'm natural. And I want to keep it that way. I want to keep being real. I had this discussion with my mom today and we talked about this. So it is important for me to be as honest and transparent with you as I can. And this will be the tenor, the theme within my YouTube channel for freaking ever. And I said that before because I've got companies approaching me. If a company approaches me and it doesn't go with my values I have and the values I named right now are just a couple, there are more values which are more personal to me. But if any of these jeopardize these values, I will never work with this company. So whatever company you will see me present to you and maybe even say, you know, I would recommend to have a look at it. You can bet your ass. I'm just going to use that word now that it is safe for you to have a look at. And it's not a scam. I don't know. I think this is quite a long vlog today, but uh, it's something which was close to my heart and I hope you valued this. Now, um, actually, I just wanted to film a little outro, which turned into like a 15 minute chat. But yeah, I hope you got some value out of this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Let's do it this way.